Uh, it's a plaster man, I can't cope. Right. No. This isn't happening. Can you take, can you take that? Can you take Hello there. <laughs> Any crap, you'll get it back. No. Okay, oh, uh, hi, uh, uh, Mr. George. Thank yes, you. Uh, it's it's the plaster plaster man. Man. Yeah, no, uh, Norman Gunson. How oh, is it? Yeah, from the uh, Mike Willis' show. Uh, I, do you mind if I um, call you by your first name, you know, boy? You can call me, my name's George, so call me George. Y yeah. Yeah, you're, you're, you're my boy. You got your boy though. It says boy George. Oh well, that's uh, you know Bobby just Tom. one of those predicaments of life. Yeah. My name's George. Oh, it's not your first. Your boy isn't. Oh. No. Boy's my sex. George is my name. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. I was because I thought that's a pretty unusual first name. You don't hear a lot, you know. No. Yeah. Except in Tarzan <laughs> movies, you know. Yeah. Oh, so you're. Yeah. Oh, I get it. I get. Oh, you use boy on your passport and everything, but do you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Great idea. Well, I suppose, you know, saves a lot of confusion and everything, doesn't it? Simplifies matters, uh, you know, going through uh, customs and that. Going through. No, no, it's going on. Sorry. Excuse me, would, you're, would you mind just moving your head that way? Because you're creeping into my uh, photograph there. That's all. You must be exhausted uh, after spending all afternoon being hounded by the jackals of the Australian press. I, I like all the press. I love it. I love being on the cover of newspapers, so uh, I'm afraid I can't give you a negative answer to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you didn't wear a dress just as well, because if they'd seen you in a dress... I don't wear dresses. Yeah, well, you know them long... I don't wear dresses. Aren't they dresses? No, oh. they're called cassocks. Oh. Priests wear those. Yeah. yeah. And they're different, aren't they? Yes, they are different, actually. Oh. Well, would you call a uh, priest a transvestite? Would you go and ask him why he's wearing a dress? Of course not. Well, so yeah. just answered your question. Yeah. Bluff, bluff. Yeah, no, well, no, no, well, I mean, no, if you're embarrassed about it. Look, don't I'm not embarrassed not about in it. Australia. I'm not embarrassed about it. Yeah, well, I'm not. We're, we're broad-minded here, you know. Yeah, look at, yeah. We're used to that. So, Jeannie Little's been dressing up as a woman for years. Yeah, Jeannie Little, I never yeah. heard of her. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't want to be personal. You couldn't be? No. <laughs> but if you, don't, if you don't mind a, a little bit of advice, you don't need to wear so much makeup for Australian television. You got plenty on? No, because no, a light brush of Helena Rubenstein Sun Bronze Number no. Three and a styptic pencil, and I look totally natural. You know, we've got colour now. You know, you don't have to wear a blue shirt to read the news or anything. You know. No. Yeah, that's sorry. That's just a bit of advice. I think you for look me. really natural. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's dig dirt. Let's uh, wipe away the pancake of illusion with the uh, cold cream of truth and squeeze a few blackheads. Is it true? that Mr. Michael Jackson rang you up and asked you to sing a duet with him, and you said no. Well, I didn't actually say no. What I said was um, that my credibility remained in Culture Club, yeah. and that I think at this stage of my career, it's not wise for me to go and record with other people. Yeah, and but you, did, did you, you didn't just do that because you got him on the rebound from Brooke Shields or anything. No, did I didn't say no. No, you didn't. But it sort of simplifies things for the press if they put it in that way. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Is there any chance of you doing a duet with me while you're here, you know? Uh, I don't think that's very likely. <laughs> oh, go on, go on. No. I've printed labels of the record and everything, you know. <laughs> Norman meets Boy George. <laughs> I mean, I can get the budget. The budget guard does a good impression of you as well, but it's just that he jacks up at wearing a dress. Oh, go, you know, on. classic. Uh, no dresses for the classic. 50, yeah, time. classic. That's a no, is it? Well, it's a no-no. <laughs> uh, okay. It's a no-no, no-no. <laughs> well, is it true that Princess Margaret uh, refused to be photographed with you and called you a painted tart. I think she was looking in the mirror at the time. Yeah. But, you know, I don't think it's that important, really. I mean, yeah. she's only a member of the royal family. Yeah. yeah. I had the same trouble with Prince Charles when for a variety of performances out here. I mean, terrible trouble with photographs. I mean, Princess Di wanted to be photographed with me, but uh, he was just embarrassed, I think, because he didn't know how to use my camera, you know? Uh, look, uh, I've got to ask this next question of you. Uh, this is the last question. Of, last question here, I'm asking you. Uh, yeah, this one is for Mr. Mr. Mike Willisey, you know, uh, and he has a pretty controversial sort of show, you know. Uh, so, I suppose you guess what I'm going to say. You ready? Right. Have you ever sold anyone a shonky used car? No. Yeah? Oh. Oh, and uh, you're puffed up. No. Oh. That's you it. definitely are. Oh, right. yeah. no. That's it, man. That's it. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. George.